Hello guys, um, thanks again for tuning in. Um, I'm excited to have you here and I want to thank you all for your support and love and um, all the encouragement you've given me um, in um, pushing this project forward and then uh, creating the content. I would love to uh, uh, thank again every single soul and person that has actually subscribed to the channel. Um, I want to tell you guys that I appreciate you and then uh, congratulations to our 100th person, the lucky 100th person and I'm saying we are looking out for the next number which is 200 um, and then on and then on we go. Um, today we are going to have a, an animation session that would um, delve into the way the Dagomers who are um, people from the northern, upper east and upper west uh, region of uh, Ghana, which is at uh, the western side of Africa. So without much ado, let's delve in. So what's going to happen in this session is that we're going to have the character animated first and then after that we're going to wear the smock. The smock is the dress that the people of the uh, Dagombes wear um, during their festival. After we had made the cloth, we are going to clean up the initial um, drawings which were done in blue that is hidden under the cloth okay just to tidy it up so that the work actually um, comes out stronger so the damba dance is a dance that is done by the dagombes and then during this dance they indirectly tell a story with the dance by the way they swing their arms and then they do a turn left turn right they do a whole 360 it's a whole beautiful dance yeah, but we're just going to take a section of it and we're going to do that. So I want you to take note of the foot and how grounded it is. Okay? Without that, we're going to have the character slipping off the ground and that's not what we want. And then uh, you realize that uh, the arms are actually going in, uh, in arcs, in arc forms. Then I just need you to know that you need to take note of that when you are doing animation. And one of the things you need to also take note of is the axe. So you realize that when, as, as the character is turning, you realize that the hands are moving in axe. Okay, you see it moving in axe. So once it's turning, you look at, you have to always make sure it's moving in an arc form because that gives you a very fluid, um, a fluid movement. Okay. Alright, so you realize that the, the action of a squash and stretch has been activated, but it's been done in a very minimal form. You realize it comes down slowly, squashes slowly, and, and stretches slowly. Um, you don't have to push it too much, because um, that will feel very cartoony, and this is not the intention of this particular project. So as I said, Always know the exact type of animation you're looking at projecting. If you're projecting an, a cartoony kind of animation, you know how to express it. And if you're not, um, you actually tone down every single um, expression, okay? Or, or principle you want to apply, whether squash and stretch, anticipation, 
um, follow through. Everything should be in a very minimal form. During the process, I realized that some of the the arm movement wasn't moving in a very hacky or curvy way, so I had to review it and make sure that I get that right so that I can get a, quite a fluid movement. So, uh, as you see, there's some uh, reviews at the end, but it's all just to get your animation cleaned up. So you can realize that in, in this video, I have taken my time to constantly um, plant the foot yeah, on the ground because without that, um, we'll be having shifts and we would, would not know exactly where um, gravity is acting on the object. It's very key you do that. So now I just finished doing the, the body movement. I'm going to migrate and start doing the movement with the cloth. That's the, the smoke, the, the people of Mampusis um, and then the uh, Northness, they call their, their dress, the clothes that they, they wear as a smoke, the top, which we're gonna do right now, okay? So now we are working on the smoke. You realize that um, the the you realize that the cloth the you realize that the smoke is lagging behind because of the the turning and then the the dynamics of the cloth uh, there was a follow through applied to the cloth. So now that I'm done with that, um, I I took time to actually um, clean up every single uh, blue line which is within the cloth. This one is to help us all have a fair idea of how the, the cloth uh, is acting on the body uh, so that we can easily identify what's actually going on.
So finally, this is what we have for the production. You can check some of the videos we have up there, uh, which is talking about some of the principles of animation. And um, you can as well check the video up there. He's talking about the hand movements. And as well, this one, which uh, uh, connects to the way um, the bouncing ball is applied. That's giving you a cartoony feel. If you're looking for a cartoony kind of feel, you can check the link up there. Thanks guys, that's all for now. Um, I want you to subscribe, like and share um, so that we can push this project forward um, and I want to let you know we appreciate you, I appreciate you and um, yeah, let's send some love to the world, okay? Uh, okay, bye for now.